Item Management in Aptora Mobile 2 Training Video Video Overview The purpose of this training video is to provide Aptora Mobile 2 users with a clear understanding of item management functions in the Aptora Mobile 2 application. This video will focus primarily on adding and editing items from forms in the software, such as sales, invoices, estimates, work orders, and purchase orders. Because item management functionality is the same from form to form, this video does not include examples of item management for each form found in the Aptora Mobile 2 application. This training video has been divided into three sections. Adding items to forms, editing items on forms, and creative item management tips. Upon completion of this training video, users should have a good understanding of the proper practices used for managing items from all forms in the Aptora Mobile 2 application. Section 1 Adding Items to Forms at this time, users may log into their Aptora Mobile 2 website. From the dashboard, select the Quick Add Data View option. Next, select the Add Work Orders Data View option. Then, from the Choose Customer Job search page, select inside the search field and press Go or Enter on your device keypad or keyboard or enter in specific search criteria and select the Go or Enter button on your device keypad or keyboard. Make a customer selection by selecting the radio dial button adjacent to the customer name to create a work order for, and then select the next button to continue to the work order form page. For the purposes of this training video, we will not be covering the various functions available to users on the work order form and will specifically focus on the items data view found on the work order form. Note that whenever a user is adding or editing items on forms in Aptora Mobile 2, not just the work order form, the form must not be in edit mode. Users are able to quickly determine what mode a form is in by viewing what option is presented in the top right corner of the form. When the edit button is displayed, the form is not in edit mode, thus requiring the user to select this button to place the form in edit mode. As we can see, right now the work order form is not in edit mode, allowing users to add items to the form. At this time, select the items data view option. Next, select the add items button. From the Add Items search page, select inside the search bar and click the Go or Enter button on your device keypad or keyboard or enter item search criteria and select the Go or Enter button on your device keypad or keyboard. However, before doing so, let me first make mention of two other features available to users from this page. Correspondent to the Item Search field, the Filter Option button currently showing as contains, displayed directly below the item search field, allows users to enter item search criteria and return results based on item names containing the search criteria entered. Users may select this button and choose from three other search filters. Starts with, ends with, and exact match. Each filter option available to the user functions as described by name, such as the search criteria entered starts with, ends with, or is an exact match to the search criteria entered. Before we move on and search for an item to add to the work order, notice the Insert at Position button, displayed directly below the Filter Option button we just reviewed. This button corresponds with the item selected to be added and determines what line or row the item will be inserted to. Keep in mind that when adding the first item, the only position will be 1. Also note that both of these features, the filter option button and 
insert at position button are available on all forms in the Aptura Mobile 2 application where items can be added. Now let's perform an item search and continue on. Select an item to add to the work order by selecting the checkbox adjacent to the item name and touching the add button. After selecting the add button, users are returned to the work order form. Before we move on to section 2, editing items on forms, let's look at one other option relative to the adding items to forms discussion and that is the ability of users to add multiple items to a form at one time. To illustrate this functionality select the items data view option from the work order form and then select the add items button. Next from the add items search page select inside the search field and touch the go or enter button on your device keypad or keyboard to return a list of item results. Users have the ability to add or select multiple items from the list of item results by checking the boxes adjacent to the item names and then selecting the add button. At this time select three items, touch or select the add button and return to the work order form. After returning to the work order form, scroll down to the items data view and notice the number four displayed in parentheses indicating four items have been added to this work order. Section two, editing items on forms. The next step in item management requires that users understand how to edit items that have been added to a form in Aptora Mobile 2. To begin, from the work order form, select the items data view. When the data view expands, notice the four items added to the work order display a plus sign to the left of the item name, indicating that the items can be selected to display more information. Select the first item in the list to expand the item data view. When the item data view is opened, users will notice two icons displayed below the item name, above the item quantity, and on the far right of the item data view. These icons are displayed as an X used to delete an item from a form and a pencil used for editing an item on a form. To delete or remove an item from a form, in this case the work order form, select the X button. After selecting the X button, users are directed to the delete work order item page where they may either select the arrow icon backwards to return to the work order form without deleting the item or the delete button to remove the item from the work order. For this example select the delete button to remove the item and be returned to the work order form. Upon arriving to the work order form scroll down to the items data view option and notice the number three displayed on the data view, indicating there are now three items on the work order. This alerts us that we have successfully removed the item from the work order. Now select the items data view option again, followed by the first item now displayed in the list. Once the item data view opens, select the pencil icon to begin editing the item. After selecting the pencil icon, the user is directed to the edit item page, where the user has the ability to change the quantity, price each, and item description. After making any changes, select the save button to save the changes and return to the work order form, or select the back arrow icon to return to the work order form without saving changes. At this time I will only change the quantity and price each on the item and save these changes. Upon returning to the work order form, scroll down and select the items data view option, followed by the item we just edited to review the changes we made. The item changes were successful. Section 3, Creative Item Management Tips. 
To begin, select the item data view that is open to close the item data view. Next, select the Add Items button to continue to the Add Items search page. Here at Aptora, we often use subtotal items on forms for a variety of reasons, such as to apply a discount on a range of items or to illustrate a break in service or project type when multiple projects are being included on a form. At this time, I will search for a subtotal item to add to the work order. After adding the item to the work order, let's review the item and edit the item to illustrate the benefit of this function. Scroll down and select the Items Data View option, followed by the subtotal item we just added to the work order. After opening the subtotal item data view, select the pencil icon to begin editing the subtotal item. Edit the description to read something like Subtotal Project 1 three items, and then save your changes. Now, after returning to the work order form, scroll down and select the Items Data View option, followed by the Add Items button. Next, use the Item Search field to return a list of item results and select two more items to be added to the work order. Select the Add button, and upon returning to the work order form, Verify that the items are in the correct position below the subtotal item, positions 5 and 6. After confirming the items are correctly positioned, select the item in position 5, followed by the pencil icon. When the item opens for editing, clear the quantity value and price each to 0 and $0 and save the item changes. Next, perform the same process for the item in position 6. Upon return to the work order form, select the Items Data View option and review the item order and information. After confirming all the new items are in the correct positions, select the Add Items button and add another subtotal item. After adding the subtotal item and returning to the work order form, scroll down and select the Items Data View option and verify that the new subtotal is in position 7. Then select the newly added subtotal item. After opening the subtotal item data view, select the pencil icon and edit the description as follows. Subtotal, Project 2, Two Items, declined.
Select the Save button and return to the work order form. After being returned to the work order form, select the print icon to preview the work order. After reviewing the work order preview, select the X button on the browser tab to close the browser tab and be returned to the work order form. Select the items data view option followed by the add items button. Next, search for a discount item. Use the insert at position button to select position 5 and add your discount item to the work order. After being returned to the work order form, use the print icon to preview the work order and verify the discount. After reviewing the preview of the work order, close the preview tab to return to the work order form. At this time, select the home button to be returned to the dashboard menu. This concludes the item management Aptora Mobile 2 training video. At this time, select the Home button if you have not done so already to be returned to the dashboard, or select the Log Off button to log out of your Aptor Mobile 2 website. For more information about Aptora and our great products and services, or to view more Aptora Mobile 2 videos, please visit our website, aptora.com or contact an Aptora sales representative.